क्वेश्चन नंबर 576 क्लोजली रिलेटेड काउस वर मेटेड विद इन द सेम ब्रीड फॉर फाइव जनरेशंस इट वाज फाउंड दैट द प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड फर्टिलिटी ऑफ काउस डिटेरिओरेटेड व्हिच मेथड अमंग द फॉलोइंग मस्ट बी अडॉप्टेड टू इंप्रूव द क्वालिटी ऑफ काउस सो द फिनोमिना बीइंग टॉक्ड इन द क्वेश्चन इज इन ब्रीडिंग डिप्रेशन that is it is the accumulation of the recessive characters which occurs due to in breeding or due to breeding within the same breed for many generations this in breeding depression can be overcome by outcrossing which involves breeding of animals within same breed but having no common ancestors on either side for about 4 to 6 generations so the correct answer will become option number 4 let us see the other options number 1 interspecific hybridization this is incorrect as interspecific hybridization is breeding between animals of two different species number 2 cross breeding this is also incorrect as cross breeding refers to breeding of animals of different breeds number 3 controlled breeding is also incorrect as controlled breeding is artificially carried out by using techniques like moet and artificial insemination so the correct answer for overcoming in breeding depression is option number 4 that is out crossing moving on to the next question 177 composite culture or polyculture is a practice of culturing of different fishes together selection of fish is based on type of excretory product is incorrect as type of excretory product will not interfere with polyculturing of fish number 2 feeding habits is the correct answer as considering feeding habits is necessary for polyculture because competition for food may lead to elimination of some fishes number 3 mode of nutrition is also incorrect as mode of nutrition refers to autotrophic or heterotrophic and all fishes are heterotrophic size is also incorrect as size of fish does not interfere with polyculturing or composite culturing of fish so the correct answer here becomes option number 2 moving on to the next question question number 178 pullorum disease in fowls is caused by number 1 salmonella this is the correct answer as salmonella pullorum causes pullorum clostridium is incorrect as clostridium causes tetanus number 4 hemophilus is also incorrect as hemophilus causes pneumonia number 4 mycobacterium is also incorrect as different species of mycobacterium cause tuberculosis and leprosy So the correct answer becomes option number one. Moving on to the next question. Question number one hundred seventy-nine. A program under controlled breeding experiments carried out for herd improvement, where cow is administered hormones with FSH-like activity, is MOET is the correct answer. As MOET stands for multiple. ovulation 
embryo transfer. Here the cow is administered with FSH like hormones which stimulate the follicle and the cow is made to super ovulate. That is the cow now produces 6 to 8 eggs instead of 1 which it used to produce before. Once the cow has super ovulated, it is artificially inseminated so that fertilization occurs and many embryos are formed. These many embryos are now implanted in uterus of surrogate mothers. So the correct answer is option number 1. Let us see the other options. Number 2, interspecific hybridization is incorrect as interspecific hybridization involves hybridization between two different species. Number 3, disease management is incorrect and inbreeding is breeding between members of same breed. So this is also incorrect. So the correct answer becomes option number 1. Proceeding to the next question students. Question number 180. A revolution that led to the development and flourishing of fishery industry is. So the revolution that led to development of fishery industry is blue revolution. Let us see the other options. Green revolution led to the flourishing of agriculture and crops. White revolution is related with milk. Number four, yellow revolution was launched to increase the production of oil seeds. So the correct answer becomes option number three that is blue revolution. So students, we have seen the quick solutions of the zoology part of this AIATS. I hope you did well and all the best for your upcoming tests. Thank you.